One. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that three, two, one was actually like us ripping him away. I no, I, was... I'm most likely going to keep that whole entire intro in there, <laughs> <laughs> so they can see how sloppy we are in the beginning. Okay. You'll, you'll, Welcome you'll back, everybody. You'll need to do a compilation of all of the all of our fails at that, and that's just going to be one of the shorts. Ah, uh, but, but then I'll have to contact Luke, and he's got trench foot and can't. <laughs> do things so all yeah. right r.i.p luke <laughs> lest we forget uh anyway <laughs> welcome back to three old friends podcast i believe this is episode seven or eight at this point god i should know that but uh, we we have a good show for you today we're pulling we're pulling the jeopardy theory where uh we lost one of our one of our hosts and we're gonna we're gonna be bouncing around from co-host to co-host seeing who does what and we're gonna we're gonna have a good time for a little bit trying to get into the groove with different people and today we have dev on you guys remember dev from our covid romance episode smash hit <laughs> thanks for having me back yeah good to be back yeah of course dev always good to have you and of course you have mike and i the reigning champs of the three old friends podcast <laughs> uh i guess starting off let's go with our days i've kind of just gone far off the script at this point and uh, Dev, since you're our honorable guest of the hour, how is how is your what month and a half been since we've had you on the show last? Yeah, it's been busy. I'm coming to the end of my semester, so I'm I'm getting through work. I'm getting through school. I just got to get till this Thursday. That's so my final is, and I'll be home free for a little bit. So I'm looking forward to the summer. I'm getting a little more time to chill. Ooh. Any any big news updates? Anything you wanna wanna let the people at home know? Since I know your family is probably half of our viewership. Uh, I guess I, nothing, nothing crazy, but I think we could bounce back to the COVID romance. Where the last time we were talking, I was like, I was, I was seeing somebody. Right, it was like kind of that ambiguous talking stage. But as of now, right, many weeks later, it's official. Little boyfriend girlfriend action. So things have changed Whoa. since the last time we've been on here. I know. Did you take our advice of the uh, the outdoor date? Absolutely. No, you guys are phenomenal. Did you do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've been going on walks and a little picnic action. Yeah, I've been going through the whole playbook. Oh, uh, oh, I have to, I have to go rub that in. Somebody, some, another <laughs> fan of the show told me, ah, oh, you should ask women what they think of that. And ah, oh, I have so many ideas about good date ideas. And it's like, calm down. <laughs> no, so, man, you guys had it. Yeah, that that's good to hear. Wow, our advice is actually good. You hear that, Mike? Yeah, well, I I wasn't actually on that episode, but uh, I have been I have been keeping up to date with your relationship, Dev. And uh, curious, there's a there's a date idea, you know, in the outside theme. Drop kicking fish. Where are you on that? And uh, your th- your thought basis on that? Because I think that could be it. That could be a fun. That could be a fun date. You know, Seattle's got the I got the fish throw. Um, <laughs> he's known for the drop kicking of fish. I think I'm very pro drop kick. I think it's okay. the only way to do it. Do you think this gal would also be into that? Fish kicking yeah. kind of gal. <laughs> she's like kind of a gym rat. Like she's tough. Like she absolutely <laughs> would drop kick him. Maybe better than me. <laughs> that sounds like a good date to me. You could try yeah. to go from the Jersey side of the Delaware and see who can get it over <laughs> to the Pensy side. Oh, <laughs> see, I, I my first question was going to be, are you like kicking into the water to kind of get I, them? I, or are you like doing like the the field goal kind of thing where you prop it up and then you you know no so drop kicking it, it's kind of like punting it you just kind of like you kind of throw it up in the air and then you just punt it as fast as far as you can <laughs> well i'd, I'd love to get the pastime. <laughs> i'd love to get the name of the place you do this at it would well the delaware river Oh yeah. <laughs> also known as the Palmyra River. Yeah. The, Palmyra, the Great Palmyra. AKA the Palmyra River. Fabulous. Well, Dev, that's great to hear that our podcast has actually helped somebody out. That's yeah, that's so. score one for the team. And uh I guess we're gonna we're gonna move along to Mike. How's how's your week been? And also don't forget we have our friendship challenge to uh update on. That is true. That is true. Uh my week's been good. My week's been good. Um Speaking of the Palmyra River, actually, um, my mom um, and her <laughs> inside joke for our viewers, but, uh, <laughs> my mom and her husband um, actually just bought a house. Um, they bought a new house. Wow. Um, nice. Yeah. They, they, they've always wanted 
um, not the condo that we or they live in um, in Palmyra. Um, they wanted a, a house of their own, so they're moving to um, Beverly or Edgewater, um, somewhere up there in that area. Um, so not crazy far from Palmyra, probably like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, and they bought a house. So um, they bought a house. They're moving in June. I actually need to talk to my mom. She called me the other day and I said, I, well, I was in the middle of a game of cribbage. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so I said, I, I'm going to have to talk to you later. Priorities. Um, yeah. So I need to, I need to follow up on her and see when exactly when they're moving, but um, that's exciting. So I might be, in the Jersey area um, sometime in the next month, maybe to help them move. And you guys are available. Would love, would love your help. Um, for, sure. Sure. for sure. But that's, that's not really any news about me, but um, also exciting nonetheless. Um, yeah. My week. Other, yeah. Let's see my week. Um, oh, watch the, watch the NFL draft. Uh, you know, I think the Eagles made some ups and down picks. Um, I thought, I thought the, uh, the trade for AJ Brown is huge. Pair him up with Devontae Smith. You got Dallas Goddard, Miles Sanders, Jalen Hurts. I think the offense is fluid. Uh, however, I think on defense we are rolling out. Uh, we are rolling out the B team. We are rolling out the guys that they're coming yeah. off the street. They've been sitting in the front row for a little while. We're going to be rolling them out there to play defense. And so I don't think we're going to be able to stop anybody. Um, Nicobe Dean in the third round was a huge pickup because he had a first round grade. So um, I think getting him in the third round as a steal was a help, but still no. Uh, defensive backs taken um, by us, which is going to hurt. Um, and I think both Jordan Davis and Cam Jurgens, both those picks um, don't fill immediate needs because they'll be backing up Fletcher Cox and uh, Jason Kelsey. And so part of me is thinking, okay, those were kind of like, they didn't really benefit us now, but in the future could help us. Um, cool. Anyway, all my thoughts, I could talk about the draft hours, uh, um, but that, that was fun. Um, I watched it with my um, roommates because um, uh, Abby, the, the the girl that I live with, she, um, one of her friends from high school um, was in the draft, uh, Trey McBride. Um, he's a tight end out of Colorado State, went in the second round to the Arizona Cardinals, which is kind of cool. Um, so she knew him growing up. Um, and so we watched it and that was a good time. Um, and it was cool to see him drafted. Uh, my buddy Keegan, who uh, who plays for UW, or did play for UW, did not get drafted, but we're still we're still holding fingers, praying that he uh, he gets drafted or doesn't get drafted, but gets picked up by a team for the rosters this summer. Um, mm -hmm. He's a center, um, which is an, yeah, apparently an Eagles need, and I don't know if we'll pick him up after drafting a guy in the second round to fill that need. But nonetheless, still holding out hope he gets on the he gets on a roster this summer. Um, uh, so that was I was actually a big part of my Thursday Friday after the Eagles traded for AJ Brown I I needed a couple minutes to decompress I needed a couple minutes to process yeah. <laughs> my phone was blowing up from people and, and I was just like I need a we need a minute to process this I don't Put know how that I feel on airplane about mode <laughs> yeah yeah I was like I'm gonna go need some take some time think about this you know um, whatever but um, but that was actually a lot of fun this weekend um, doing that yesterday. Um, Man, now I think about it, my weekend was really football themed. Uh, went to the spring game, the Wyoming spring game, which was fun. Um, went with some friends and um, got to watch the next year's talent and um, did that. And then um, helped in the morning with a food throw. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's this place called uh, SRAM. It's a it's a it's called Solid Rock Outdoor Ministries. Um, a guy, that, a student that was in our ministry, he graduated, but now he works full time for them. Um, and basically, they do like forty day excursions in the mountains, um, hiking, backpacking, um, and just disconnecting and connecting with God, which is cool. Uh, but they need to pack rations, uh, and they have rations helicoptered in. It's kind of like Survivor in a way. Um, but uh, they, so we went to volunteer to help package that up. It was very interesting. I got to work with the spices, uh, and uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I don't know uh, why it's funny to me. <laughs> uh, you know, you get to see which which teams really like their olive oil, which teams really like their <laughs> you know uh, salt and pepper. You know, it just it's some research. Oh, did so. they like pre-list things that they wanted per team? Well, no. So each team has a bag of spices and stuff, and so you can see like from what they've used in the past. Um, mm -hmm. like what they've used the last time, like what you have to, how much you have to refill everything and how much you have to like, you know what I mean? That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. There was at one point, 
the soy sauce and the or the vanilla were not labeled. And if it wasn't for the smell of the vanilla, wouldn't have known which one was which. And could have <laughs> verbally, could have really posed the team over. Imagine being out in the woods. You're out in the woods for like 25 days. You haven't seen society in so long. And somebody's like, oh my gosh, let's make something with vanilla. And they just dump a bucket of soy sauce. And I would feel, I would feel awful. I would feel awful that I... That I contributed to that. Let's you know? bake a cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and he had poured soy sauce on because because some idiot made a mistake when they were, you know, dumping it out. But um, that was the end of my week. Middle of the week, um, pretty chill. Uh, this next week, I'm traveling. Uh, I have training in Colorado Springs, so I'll be there for the next week. Um, and uh, my friendship challenge. Um, I said I would go to a brewery downtown and play cribbage. Um, and uh, I did go to the brewery, but I did not play cribbage because that's a Monday night and uh, we are recording um, on a Sunday night. So uh, did not get to do that, uh, but I still have plans to do that. Um, I did forget I was traveling uh, when I when I said I could do that because uh, I will not be in Laramie tomorrow night. Um, but uh, but I will. And when I do, I will report back. Is that, is, that a fair, is that a fair assumption? Also, I'll give you an extension. For, for you, Dev, go Knights. Uh, wear go your, Knights, baby. I love to see your alma mater. Hey, don't, don't say play. that. You wear that jacket like half the time we record. No, this is a coincidence. Listen, listen, this is specifically for Dev. This is specifically Gotta for Dev. Gotta rip him, yeah. <laughs> but, Pat, what was your week? How was your week? Oh, my week was good. So I, the USPS finally got back to me, and we're like, hey. <laughs> Come in, get your fingerprints. We'll get everything done. It was like the quickest process ever. The lady was super nice, and she lived in the town that I'm going to be doing my route in, and she told me everything's what really town cool. Is that? Elizabeth Town. That place you <laughs> thought I lived, but I didn't. And I still I don't. don't. <laughs> hey, Dev, do you know where Pat lives? It's, I want to say Marietta, Pennsylvania. Who's the better friend, Mike? <laughs> it took him like 10 minutes and a Google map to figure out where I lived. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well. Anyway, anyway go we're gonna we're gonna cool it down a little bit. <laughs> uh, so besides that, this was my first week as editor. So for all of you that checked it out on uh, YouTube, I'm sorry there was nothing for the first forty seconds. My bad. And for all of you that checked out on Anchor, I'm sorry that it wasn't up for fourteen hours. I believe it was <laughs> after the publish date was actually supposed to happen. So, still getting a little bit better, and I, I do have to report that from editing, it's really, it's difficult, because I get to listen to myself have all these speech ticks. Like, I say you know all the time, and I say like a lot, so I am trying my hardest to not say those two words, and I'm also trying not to have long pauses in my, my sentences, because I tend to do that. And I hear myself do it, and I just want to reach through the screen and, like, strangle myself. So, <laughs> I, for my own sanity, I'm going to, like, move it along. Oh, I just said it. So, I'm going to move it along. I'm not going to say, you know, that phrase is banned from three old friends. And, yeah, everything is everything is just going to move along smoothly. We're, we got some good stuff going on here. I am not stopping. I have lost my train of thought. I am rambling. Anyway, my... I said last week that for my friendship challenge, I was going to do like a yoga thing, which I was also going to do Monday, but <laughs> it's Sunday because three old friends are very hard to get together on a regular <laughs> date. <laughs> so, but I did go to the trivia night, which was Disney themed. And if you know anything about me, I have seen very few movies and you one of the only movies. You... What was that? <laughs> you, you slay when it comes to Disney. Oh my, actually we got like fourth. <laughs> So we show oh, up, bad. the place is absolutely packed, and no, it's only because my, my girlfriend's friend is a beast at trivia. So we get there, and they have like their, their Mickey Mouse ears on, and we think everybody's going to be like dressed up and everything. We get in there, it's packed to the brim, and everybody's just in like normal street clothes. So we walk in, they both have their like mouse ears on, <laughs> and everybody in the bar turns and just looks at them. And just follow us through the whole thing because there are different sections in it. There's like the front section, which is like one bar and a bunch of tables and that's full. So everybody looks at us there and then we go to the bar and they're like, oh, there's seating in the back at like a bigger bar. So we go back there. 
Bigger bars all filled up. We stand there, we look for tables, everybody's still staring at us. So then they shove us into this tiny back room that has like a bunch of fold-up tables. And we just end up being there. <laughs> so the friendship challenge didn't really work out too well because we got shoved into a, a loading dock with a table in it to do our trivia. And also, Kay and I are just bad at trivia. We suck so badly. Our our friend carried us the whole way. We got like... I see it on the fridge here. It's like 40 points out of 80, which we got like wow. five the first time we went. It was just the two of us, and I, I carried the weight. So friendship challenge, I'm, I'm going to give myself an extension too because I just didn't feel like I met anybody. I was just like at my table doing a bunch of trivia questions with people I knew. And I think that's cheating to say that I went and met new people because I did not, (laughs) did not happen. And then, uh, yeah, today I have been watching my puppies, which is why you can see my, my new change of scenery. They are very loud and barky when they're alone. So if I sit here, somehow I've trained them. If I'm on the computer or watching TV, they just like chill out. It's kind of nice. But if I go into a different room, they'll scratch, they'll whine, they'll bark, and I know Kay's going to come home, and I'm going to have to edit it out. But yeah, that's that's been my week. It's been it's been good. I've been loving it. So Dev, do you wanna do you wanna partake in our friendship challenge to go meet new people, or you just want to take sideline for this one? Or do you I feel like you need to? to. Oh, it's true. Do you have friends? I, I could always use more, but I did want to say that like last weekend was like one of the first times where I like really got to spend more time with people from work. You know what I mean? So like normally I don't, but just, it just happened. It's so funny that you guys mentioned that the last week I saw like two different groups of people. And I was like, wow, what are the odds? Wow. What did you, what did you do? What did you guys, what, did, how did it come about? What did you guys do? Tell us about it. Yeah. On Friday, the one guy that I work with, he's about my age. He wanted to go to the Phillies game and he got like, I don't know how many, like five tickets to the game or something because like OPEX gives out tickets, you know, you can request it and you don't have to pay. So it's kind of nice. And he had an extra one. He was like, oh, you want to go to the Phillies game on Friday? So I ended up doing that. And that was like awesome. Like it was a kind of a boring game, but like just getting out to the stand and it was like 70 degrees, like, oh my God, it was so fun. That was a, that was a good day to go. For yeah, sure. a good day to go see baseball. So that was fun. And then the following day. They did. They won 4-2, but I left. I, I stayed for like eight innings. It was like 1-1. One, one, <laughs> I just gave up. And then when I eight walked out of the stadium... One, one? Yeah. Eight innings, 1-1, one, one, and you <laughs> you left? I was like, I'm done. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there were like three hits the whole game. I was like, I've had enough. <laughs> but then, um, yeah, Saturday, the one guy was having a bonfire, and it was like, oh, this is a different person about my age, too. And yeah, I went with somebody else so it was, no, it was just good like getting to see everybody out of work you know like i feel like i don't i don't always see people outside work. we go to lunch every now and then on fridays so that's fun but it was kind of cool like breaking out of that you know they like, get a little more personal with it do you work with a lot of people that are your age yeah like on the project that i'm on there's probably like five people that are like right around my age so huh. I, I'm, I'm happy to be on that you know like a lot of the company is a little older but on this one project there's a lot of young guys so it's a good opportunity yeah, I mean that's. I feel like that's a unique like situation because I don't feel like most times when you get like hired onto a company, you're not like, okay, let's put all the young people that are newer to this together. Let's, you know, you're mm. gonna be a seventy year old guy that's gonna go, you know, home after five and you know hit the hay at eight. You know, that's that's all the party we get. You know. Yeah, Dev, you just contradicted everything that Mike said last week. So <laughs> he's in shambles right now. No, no, no listen. I- there's always an outlier. Well, I, I think like, I think that's just too, like it happens, you know, like it, I think that's a special situation. And like, let's, let's praise that, right? Like let's praise that situation. But, and I would still stand by this. I would, I would argue that that is not the norm. Would you, would you agree with me or disagree with me, Dev? No, I think that's, you hit the nail on that. I think that's absolutely right. Yeah. But it's cool. I mean, it's cool that you, you get that. Did you know any of them going in? Like, or did you just meet them when you worked there? No, yeah. It's funny that when I was an intern there, I worked with two people and they got hired on as well, but they're doing a different project, so I don't get to see them as much. But yeah, the whole people that I'm working with now, it's like a whole new batch of hires, so it's good that they're bringing a lot of young people, yeah. So would you say, to, to this was our kind of our 
topic and discussion last week and um for our viewers we'll we'll only only dive into this a little bit but would you say this is a easy season for you to make friends or a hard season or yeah kind of kind of diagram that for us kind of lay that out for us yeah i think it's definitely hard i think the whole after college life is definitely a lot harder like i think there's a lot less structure you're not around people anymore like when you're in college you're like literally all living together you know you're like back together you live together eat together study together so it's so much easier to to, you know what i'm saying like i feel like that's like a it's all built in yeah but then like when you work now you're like you kind of all spread out you're like in a brand of apartment complex and maple shade new jersey so like it's not as easy to make friends but no i think it's still it's possible but it's definitely harder so that's all i guess the challenge that we're going through i'm glad y'all have the show to talk about it i think you're giving out a lot of good advice why wow. uh <laughs> love I, to hear it listen he hey he just listen we might not have been in sync about our uh about our our ideas of work friends but pat listen did you hear what he's saying he's saying exactly what altogether. i said <laughs> get out of here boo. <laughs> boo. Uh, also, Dev, uh, I'm shocked that you're not giving us the mood lighting. Uh, you know, this time what? around. What? Uh, well, don't you don't you usually have you have some you have some mood lighting? You know. Oh, with the the LEDs. Did you take them down? No, they're up. I just didn't turn them on. Yeah. Okay. Well, another time. Let's keep let's keep our audience you know <laughs> on the edge of their toes. Somewhat engaged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This but is for a next thrilling time, listen talking about Devin's lights. <laughs> next time, I want those things strobing, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah, I want I want our viewers who are watching on YouTube to go, are we going to get a seizure from this? <laughs> <laughs> we we will see immediately warning. where the watch time just drops is right when Devin turns the lights on. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, as for Pat, any, any final remarks on friendship? Because we did kind of end, um, kind of <laughs> rock a little bit. Well, as the self-proclaimed uh, person who doesn't have any friends at the moment, I, I could say without a doubt that we will get back to you on how to make friends as an adult. And that if you want to know how to make friends as an adult, follow Devin on whatever social media he has because he seems <laughs> to have it a lot more together than we do. <laughs> yeah. Listen, maybe, it's, maybe it's the Maple Shade apartment. It I must think, be. I think mm-hmm. people. I think people dig that. You know, it's yeah. a hot spot, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Deb. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what your plan is. I know you. I know your eventual plan is to move back into Philly, but uh, my mom is selling a condo in Palmar. <laughs> if you're interested, you know, that's a nice I, location I signed, too. I did not have a good location, but uh, yeah, I signed the lease the other day. I'm going to Philly in uh, September first. Whoa. So maybe maybe the condo another time, but for the next well, twelve listen, months after that, when you wanna when you wanna settle down in the in the burbs, you know you uh, you <laughs> well actually don't. Uh, this is gonna probably be gone in a couple of a uh, couple of a couple of weeks. So never mind. I guess it's not on the table. But where are you moving to New York or Philly? Gosh, yeah, it's at, it's where Giovanni's going to school. It's at the Drexel campus. It's University City. That's like the neighborhood. So are you gonna are you gonna live with him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's us and then two other guys. Wow, and you said you said maple shade ain't for me. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot going on around over here. I feel like the city life that's more conducive for the friends and that season of life. You know, what I mean, you got to go where the people are. Ooh, he's using he's our asked, key I, phrases. Do you hear that? Wow, he's a natural. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's really targeting us, Pat, for living in rural America. He's saying uh, he's saying come to the cities. I know you can't <laughs> hear us from. The middle of the city, freaking middle of nowhere, both of us, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. I mean, that definitely helps you make friends is having a bunch of people around, you know. Oh, I just said the phrase. Oh, you know. I'm upset with myself. But anyway, I think we should get to the, the meat and potatoes of the show. We're going we're gonna to try to discuss a little bit of pop culture here. And oh, man. <laughs> a hop and a skip for friendship we're going to uh <laughs> how relationships can end and why they go to court with a uh, little johnny depp and amber heard action and uh, i know that mike is a big amber heard fan so i think he's gonna have to take it away with that end of everything i personally don't know anything about this so you two will be educating me on the facts yeah dev you want to go ahead and kick us off <laughs> 
<laughs> I know, like, I have a skin deep understanding of the situation, but I think what happened is Luke was explaining to me. So Luke gave me the insider information. He was they saying that Luke, huh? yeah, so Amber Heard it. basically was saying a lot of stuff about Johnny that was affecting his, I guess, public image. Like, he's a celebrity. He has a lot of money. Like, there wasn't any, this isn't a criminal offense for him to sue her now. So, like, this is all kind of for him to kind of restore his public image. Like she was saying that he was, you know, abusive or whatever. And he's, he's suing her for, I don't know, I guess it's defamation. I don't actually know what it is, but it's something like that. It's not a criminal case. It's a civil case. So I think for him, he's just trying to restore his, his public image. And Amber Heard, I think is getting exposed for being the one who was abusive after all. I think typically, in these big domestic violence cases, like the man is, you know, typically an abuser and the woman is the victim, but I think it's kind of the reverse in this case. And Amber's kind of the bad guy. So I feel like Mike, you're, you're back on the wrong horse here. <laughs> Listen, I don't know much about the case. Uh, thanks for throwing me under the bus, Pat. Um, oh, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, I have heard the, I have heard the story. I don't, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is, this is a rumor, but I heard I heard Amber Heard took a took like a a whiskey bottle and smashed it on his hand, uh, on Johnny Depp's hand. You know, all Pirates of the Caribbean style. You know, ah, uh, maybe they were just like, well, okay. I started the sentence. I'm gonna finish it. Maybe they were just role playing. You know, little I mean, life of pie. They Captain Jack life Sparrow of pie. action. You know, a little fight scene going on. She just got too into it. Grabbed a whiskey bottle and just. Psh! They were they, yeah they were at a they were in the ship. They were at the you know they were an intense scene of like you know no, we need to go this way or the treasures this way kind of thing. And Amber said no, and you know, boy. So I don't I don't really know much about that, but I was a camp counselor for a number of years, and I know that. Normally, if somebody is going and telling on you, sometimes they're usually the problem. <laughs> so are they're. Saying, are you saying all sexual uh, assault victims are? <laughs> what? Are, Where did you get that? They're telling on, they're telling on people because they're telling on people, and then you know. They're... I'm talking about children, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Or are you comparing it to Amber Heard to, and, and Johnny Depp to children? I'm saying that she sued and is now looking like the bad guy because she's the one that was like, oh, you are probably did like one wrong thing and I'm like upset now it's being exposed <laughs> that she is the issue. <laughs> so is that how all sexual assault cases go? Where did sexual assault come from, Mike? Where yeah, did you yeah. even pull that's that good. word out of? That's what, that's what Amber. That's what Amber's claiming. That's like ninety oh. percent of what she's claiming. Oh God. Okay. Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> but I think that no. But I think like the issue is that I feel like she like I feel like typically you know you, you are obligated not obligated but like it's it's good to respect the the victim right you know you have to understand that they're telling the truth but I think this is like the weird weird exception where like she's being the abuser and like. Johnny's kind of getting dragged to the coals here. So, like, I don't know. I hope that they kind of rectify what's going on here. But, no, it's just, they, it, I feel like it's, no, I don't know. They took him out of, uh, they took him out of Fantastic Beasts because of this whole thing. They were both in the movie? That? No, I don't think Amber was, but Johnny Depp was, like, the main, uh, the main villain in, uh, in Fantastic Beasts in the first two. Oh, and he my wasn't God, you're right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Ooh. <laughs> drama you know uh we also we also found out that uh amber uh, we can has we can just... see your reflection in your glasses nice nice <laughs> we fired her pr team days before she sets to testify so just a heads up you know wow so uh you're you're doing a really bad job at defending right now uh, listen hey you know, when you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong, you know? <laughs> I stand up for justice. <laughs> I'm Batman. I, I think Johnny's got his justice. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you know, he he deserves what's his, you know? Hmm. In memory in, in memory of this, should we should we list out our favorite Johnny Depp movies? 
I could probably name In support of Team Johnny. How many how many uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movies are there? That's probably I can name probably two. <laughs> do you want me to look it up? Do you want the reflection on my glasses? No, too small. I can't read it. All right. Well, I'm looking it up. Johnny Depp movies. You guys keep talking. I'll do some research. <laughs> okay. I have to say the the Fantastic Beasts movies. I didn't love them. So if we're talking oh, about Johnny you Depp take, movies, you take that back. Work. <laughs> oh my gosh, you take that back. Those Mike, those Mike has been fantastic. raving about those for the past few I, weeks. <laughs> I went and saw the third one, and it was fantastic. Really? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's because Johnny wasn't in it, you know? <laughs> That's good to hear. I'm glad it was good. Um, okay, Johnny Depp movies. Wow, he's in a lot of movies. He is in a lot of movies. Um, he was in Black Mass... The Lone Ranger. Um, he was in Into the Woods. He's in Mordecai. Um, he's I don't in know most Ed, of these. He was in Ed Wood. Um, he was in Brokeback Mountain. No, that's a lie. He wasn't in Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bald faced lie. <laughs> that was a bald faced lie. I should have done that to our audience. Um, he was he was Willy Wonka in, Ch- in Charlie the Chocolate Factory. No shot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I claim that one as my personal favorite, just because <laughs> I have a vague memory of seeing it, and I could yeah, not he... tell you the plot of most of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I feel like he was not Willy Wonka. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel he like we're getting played. He was no. He was just looking up yourselves. Look Are up you yourself. broke back was, mountaining us again? I no. think he is. No. Okay. Based on the 1964 British novel of the same name by <laughs> Roald Dahl, the film stars Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka and Freddie Freddie Highmore as Charlie Bucket, alongside David Kelly, Helena Bonham Carter, Noah Taylor, Missy Pyle, James Fox, and Deep well, Roy. Huh. So he was Willy Wonka. I'm stunned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless. Yeah, same. So and good for a Amber podcast. You know? What is what is it? Amber Heard been in? She's just been just, in. Uh, just Aquaman. You know, I'm just Aquaman. You know, and she's only got ten minutes in the ne- in the next one. There's been a petition of two million people have signed that reduces her role to ten minutes in the upcoming Aquaman two movie. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, people are pretty pissed. People are pretty pissed when you mess with Johnny. When you mess with Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with his chocolate factory, you know what I'm saying? That you know sounds saying? so bad. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was his chocolate factory was clean, doing what it was supposed to do. And then she came in and said it wasn't. You know? Ah, she health inspectored him. Yeah. Well, and then the health inspector said, Well, Johnny's good to go, you know. Where are we going with this? I don't. I don't think this topic is good. Anyway, Deb, Deb, what is what is your favorite Johnny Depp film? Yeah, I think I've only ever seen parts of the Caribbean, so I feel like I can't. Uh, you haven't, you haven't seen Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? No, I have, but I didn't want to pick that one because it's not like Pat's picking that one. You mean Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Yeah, whatever. Willy Wonka uh, in the Chocolate Factory, fake fan. Yeah, I actually never seen it. I've never seen it. <laughs> Um, I listen. Fantastic Beasts were fantastic. He was in it. It's fantastic is in the name. It's you know it's good. Yeah, give me I one good reason why it's not that good. I don't know. I remember watching it. And I was just like, this is, this is goofy. Like the second one, the first one, I felt like was kind of fun, but the second one was just goofy. Like it's got that guy. Like you guys know who I'm talking about. What's his name? His <laughs> That's a like great Ezra. description. Ezra something. He's got like this like very like recognizable face. He was like the Flash in like the recent Justice League movie. He's just this goofy looking guy, and I just like couldn't take him seriously. Like I just <laughs> wasn't my cup of tea. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wow. I think the debate should be uh, Fantastic Beasts, good or bad, because clearly our our knowledge on current events is lacking. <laughs> well, listen, we, we've, we've covered what we need to cover. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Johnny wins. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So anyway, back to the Fantastic Beasts debate, which is now happening, I guess. I have not seen them. <laughs> okay. Thoughts? If you go on you going with the you going with the mindset that it's going to be Harry Potter, then you you're already yeah you're going to be disappointed because it's not like the only crossover character is Dumbledore you know and then like the Wizarding World, um, but other than that like it's it's very like much its own thing, um, and it doesn't really like cor- correct me if I'm wrong, but it doesn't really add anything to the Harry Potters like it's be set before the Harry Potters happen. But they have no correlation whatsoever. Um, the third one I thought was fantastic because I loved the old timey, like New York City. They were wearing their suits and everything. It looked high class. Uh, I also could have been biased because it was a free movie. It was free movie Tuesdays in Lamy. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a large popcorn, a large soda, and I didn't pay for my ticket seat. And so I might have been really hyped up. Ah. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed so, I thought the story was well written. For a you know? free movie, it was fabulous. But if you had to pay like $13, it would, it would be meh. Hey, you know, never been presented with that opportunity, you know? Fair. <laughs> Fair. You got to you know? grab it when you can. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that? Well, that? Yeah, just a little mumble. Was yeah. So we're talking over there. I'm not. I'm not editing it out. When my when my dogs wrestle, Sammy makes this little growly noise that Kay thinks is cute. I think it just kind of sounds like he's constipated. And now I he's it was somebody like a, an apartment over talking. It sounds like a person. No, it's him going. Argh, argh. <laughs> and yeah. That's what's going on here. This is staying in because my editing skills aren't that great. You can't even hear it anymore. It's fine. Well, that's because they're done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Ah. So to recap what we've learned. Johnny Depp was Willy Wonka. Uh, Dev is killing it at the friend game post-college. Uh, uh, and that's all we've learned. <laughs> It's not a very knowledgeable week. We also learned that Johnny Depp was not in Brokeback Mountain. That is true. And Jake was... Gyllenhaal was, though. Wow. We're just... And Heath, and Heath Ledger. And Anne it's Hathaway. Back. Ooh, fabulous. It's about, it's about two gay cowboys in Wyoming. <laughs> Laradice, baby. Well, at what point does here? Johnny Depp come in? You're, you're thinking of the... Well, when I... <laughs> We're not gonna. We're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. Um, we're not gonna take the show. Show down that uh, that rabbit. Uh, what was your question, Pat? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, the show's falling apart right now. Oh boy. <laughs> we, got, we got stuck on Johnny Depp here. Like, I mean, I don't. I don't know what. Damn, the... it, it must be you. We get through like a decent point, and then the topic just kind of comes to a, about the Panama Canal, a grinding like, halt. <laughs> oh gosh, man. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. Maybe my editing skills will come in, so I just cut off a a large chunk of everything. Listen, the people deserved to know. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Should I should I release the Suez Canal bit? <laughs> no, that's never. Is it the Suez Canal or the, the Panama public? Canal? The Panama. It was the Suez. I think. I, why was I saying Panama? Yeah, I think it was the Suez. It wasn't. Oh, right. no, you're right. Because it was. That's the one in. Uh, in Panama. Egypt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the one. No, I don't remember which one it was. It was the Suez. The Suez was the one we were talking about. Oh <laughs> uh, boy. Well, that's that's pretty much all we have on the on the sheet for this week. So, uh, in spite of our riveting conversation, which didn't really lead to anything, <laughs> my uh, my songs for the week theme is songs to play as you're walking out of court with a winning case. Oh, songs to walk out of a winning case. Yeah, so like you just won a case. What's what's the first song you're pl- you're walking down the courtyard steps, and you want to show off? You're like, oh, not right. guilty, baby. And yep. you, you play uh, this jam. What is it? Bitch better have my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, that's 
that you have to, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't really think there needs to be any more explanation. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's probably what Johnny's doing. <laughs> very true. So for mine, I'm going to do Human by Rag and Bone Man because I'm going with the... Uh, the I was guilty, but I got away with it. I'm only human after all aspect of it. So I'm oh. I'm happy that I got away with whatever petty crime I did, and I am now free to walk the streets. <laughs> that sounds like a, if Amber wins, that's what she's going to be jamming to. Ah, well, now I'm painted as the bad guy. Thanks, Dev. No, I'm just saying that you're, you're just filling in her side of the story. You don't necessarily got to support her. You're exactly. just putting a little perspective yeah, on exactly. it. Exactly. The, the journalist. Don't if, shoot the messenger. If she wins. If she wins, which she could. She could still win. It's true. How long is it on for? Do we know? I'll do more research. Okay. In the meantime, Dev, your song. I was thinking, yeah, that, that song, uh, Show Goes On. I don't even know who it's by, but it's like 2011. And it's just it just sounds like the end credits of a movie. Like he's going to be strolling out of there. Johnny's, he's going to win. He's just going to be jamming, you know, like happy ending type beat. <laughs> Ah, so like, happy ending to a movie, the credits roll, and it's like all this happy music kind of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, I love that. That's so funny. Mike, updates? Uh, Amber Heard said poop in bed with Johnny Depp was a horrible practical joke. Guard testified. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel like that sounds like something we were just talking about, but I don't know so if it sounds like that. But... <laughs> it says... Amber Heard admitted to pooping on Johnny Depp's bed. <laughs> I thought that he was supposed to be the one with the chocolate factory. Oh. <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. is literally foaming at the mouth Johnny, right now. <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> Johnny Depp giggles when bodyguard is questioned about his penis. <laughs> what? what is going on? It's is kangaroo this, this court. This is the top news. This was New York Post. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is reputable sources. <laughs> well, I think this is what Luke was trying to explain to me. Is that he's just trying to reclaim his his public image. So Johnny was slandered as this abuser, but now he's dragging her to court, and she's just making a fool out of herself. Like I think he's showing that he was in the right. Like I think this is the publicity is all he wants. Like he doesn't need to win the case. He doesn't need the money. He needs her to look goofy you know what i mean i mean like think about think about like you know down the line you know she's she's you know obviously gonna be single now you know and and (laughs) trying to meet new guys and they're like you're the girl that (laughs) pooped in johnny depp's bed i i i uh i'm out i'm uh i'm gonna gonna hit the road obj is sliding up in the dms he's like i know what i want and i'm gonna get it Wait, is that, <laughs> what is, is going serious? on? Are you serious right now? Was that like a rumor? Like, remember, like a year ago, he like something came out, like somebody was saying that he's like really into that stuff, and it was just like, oh my god, <laughs> I don't, I didn't hear that at all. He just that casually takes makes, a back seat in court. I literally didn't make that up. We have to look it up later. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, the plot thickens. <laughs> Well, but I'm just saying that if she's if she's gonna break up with an actor, she could get together with a professional wide receiver. Like that's not a bad plan B. Hey, you know, can make athletic children. You know, mm-hmm. very true. Good swimmers. You know, Aquaman uh, kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't know if the joke landed. This is a kids show, Pat. God, what? <laughs> what do you mean? This is a kids show. Did you just hear what Devin said? <laughs> I was just saying something. It wasn't like an innuendo. It was just making it, neither was sense. mine. <laughs> uh, this is this is uh, this is uh, um, uh, BBC News. Um. Also, at the end of the day, they are just two actors in court. Like, how much? How believable is anything they say? Uh, yeah, that's kind of stressful. Yeah. Yeah, like it could just be the biggest publicity stunt ever, and their so, careers are just gonna skyrocket. It says, it says that Amber Heard uh, publicly pledged to donate enti- uh, entirety of her seven million payout um, uh, from their divorce settlement 
to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Um, and <laughs> they only received $3.5 million of that pledge. Oh, God. Uh, well, maybe, well, what if, what if it was taxed? What if she actually did give as much as she got, but the rest like went to taxes or something? That's the only yeah, logical maybe. explanation I could see there. Maybe. Um, it's a weird promise to make, though, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Depp's drug and alcohol use has been a central theme of the trial so far. To hear Mr. Depp tell it, he was sober for much of his relationship with Ms. Heard after detoxing from an op- opioid uh, oxycodone in um, 2014. But Ms. Heard's team has described a different Mr. Depp, one prone to alcohol and drug binges, despite her repeated pleas for him to get clean. On Wednesday, Ms. Heard's lawyer, uh, Elaine... Berdehoff uh, leaned on the latter claim, asking longtime manager of Mr. Depp's private island in the Bahamas. He has a private island. Uh, if she remembers the actor passing out in the sand face first. Uh, <laughs> I recall I recall he passed out on the beach, Tara Robert responded. Miss Bredehoff pressed on, asking if Miss Roberts recalled whether Mr. Depp's son had been had seen him that way, and Miss Roberts responded that she did. Hey. Wild. That sounds like just a big mess. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you know hold on. This this says Elon Musk got involved. <clears throat> uh discussing Miss Heard's breakup with Mr. Musk in twenty seventeen, recalled asking the Aquaman star why she was upset about the split if she wasn't in love with him in the begin uh to begin with. You told me a thousand times you were just filling space, he wrote to Miss Heard. I don't really know. Investigator, he's thinking deep. You know, just one article on uh, BBC News. So, you know, but New York Post does, if you want to follow up on the poop comment, uh, that's (laughs) on on the New York Post. So take a look at that. You know who I was going to say was the only winner in this whole situation? I don't know if you guys talked about this in weeks prior, but I feel like Will Smith is the only person who wins from this case because we're not (laughs) talking about him looking like a fool anymore. You know what I mean? (laughs) He's old news. He's old news. That's exactly right. Yeah. I saw this one picture that was like Will Smith proving that fighting is still super effective against Rock. (laughs) I was like, yeah, a little little Pokemon action. I was like, wow, that is pretty nerdy, but pretty funny. (laughs) You love to see that, yeah. So that's, that's all I know about the whole thing. Again, I don't know much about celebrity drama and... If this episode shows anything, we're going to have to be a little more up to date on our information. You hear the bark? Well, <laughs> as, a t- as a team, we commit to keeping the keeping the people up informed about what's going on. Very true. Anyway. And with that, for, for timing, we got we to yeah, have to a hard out. We can't drag this on out. anymore. Let's, let's put them back up. Wait, I had the candle, right? Okay. Well, thanks again for watching Three Old Friends. Uh, follow us on Instagram, uh, social media, YouTube, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.